Hey guys, I'm making this quick little video for somebody on the forum who is having a little trouble um, turning his OneNote leads into chord leads. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of uh, cool tricks you can use with uh, FL Studio's piano roll to help you with that. So uh, I made this quick little one note melody here, I'll play it back to you. Now if I wanted to uh, make this into a chord melody, um, well, me myself I've personally had a little bit of musical training, but mostly I would just uh, trust my ears to hear uh, which notes would uh, go well with these root notes and which wouldn't, but if you're still having some trouble, I'm going to show you how the piano roll uh, can help you a lot with that. So the first thing we're going to do is clone this channel and we're going to mute it. So now no sound is coming from this channel. Open up the piano roll for the second channel. Open up the menu here in the piano roll. Uh, go down to helpers and select ghost channels. What this will do is this will show you the notes we uh, programmed in, in our first channel in uh, light gray. So uh, now what we want to do is open up the menu again, go down to chord, and this will give you an entire list of uh, chords, um, some more suited for dance music than, than others. Um, just look through them and find uh, the ones you like, the ones you don't like. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to select a minor chord. Uh, now if I click somewhere in the piano roll, uh, FL Studio will uh, automatically um, fill in the minor notes of the root note that I selected. So in this case, uh, D is the minor, is the root note. So the uh, notes of the minor scale of D would be F and A. So now what you want to do is just click on these gray notes of our original melody and now that entire melody will play in a minor chord. I'll show you real quick. So yeah, uh, already sounding uh, a lot better. Um, but if you want a little more uh, control, um, there's another trick you can do. I'm going to show you. Go down to go back to the piano roll of our first channel. Open the menu again. Go down to chord, and instead of choosing a chord here, we're going to go down to scales. Um, and these will show you all the notes in a particular scale. So uh, if I select, for example, harmonic minor, now if I click somewhere in the piano roll, uh, it will show me all the notes that are in the harmonic minor scale of the root note, in this case, uh, C sharp. So these notes would be C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and C. So now what you want to do is just uh, click, paste, and make sure the root notes correspond to the root notes of our original melody. Just a second. Then go back to the piano roll of the uh, second channel. Um, for the beginners, and well, for everyone else really, I would uh, suggest to first uh, copy this entire melody and paste it one octave above. Now these notes will automatically be uh, in the scale because they're the same notes as our root notes, just one octave higher. But this will already uh, fill out the frequency range a little bit and make your lead a little bit bigger. I'll just play it back to you. Now the next thing is just copy the entire melody again and place the root notes onto a note in our harmonic minor scale, so onto one of these gr uh, light gray ones. So uh, for example here. Um, now another thing to notice is, is uh, as you can see, if I put the root notes of the first bar here onto 
this note, the uh, root notes in the second bar will automatically also be um, on notes that are in the scale on these on these light gray notes. So just select one, and I'll play it back. And yeah, just uh, just uh, play around. All these light gray ones will will be good. Just uh, see which one you like. I'll I'll try this one. So yeah, um, me personally, I would go for the uh, A sharp here. Um, the next thing you can also do is copy and paste again one octave higher here, uh, which will make it even bigger. And then for this top line, we can play around a little bit with it and uh, make it into a top line melody. So uh, I'll, I'll quickly try something here, just a second. Play that back. And there we go, we have turned our uh, one note lead melody into a chord melody. Uh, I hope you learned something, you can uh, subscribe if you want for more tutorials and free stuff. Uh, if there's anything else you would like me to uh, make a video about, just ask me in the comments and I will uh, try to do my best. And uh, okay, see you later.